people have actually worked for. And if I and if I would get in there and go, well, that was a turd. Yeah. That is not good. Well, then I would leave. There you go. So when no one's left here, right? Doesn't mean the, they're enamored with me. They're that that they're, they're, they're that's bigger than me. It's not me. Well, I I think a part of it is sure it is. You know? Oh, well, it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing that people are like. No, it's saying that. Yeah, that's not a bad thing. It it is a bad thing. It's it's a bad. It, I think it's a bad thing, and it it uh, undermines where this thing has gone from the beginning because it wasn't about me. If you think it was about me, or I start thinking it's about me, then then it, this the whole thing is going to fucking fail miserably. So when you tell me that everyone is here because of me or worshiping me or uh-huh. wanting to be me. That doesn't do me any good in the the idea or the plan where I, where I think this bigger thing than me could be. It's like you don't go to a church mm-hmm. to listen to the preacher for him. He might be able to deliver the word of God, but you're going for God. You're going for, for, Many for, for, for people. salvation. Many people have left churches because they don't like their but preacher. I'm saying, and they'll stay because they go, he's a great preacher. Not because they want to fuck him. Not because they want to be him. You, it's like, okay, I'm... Do you, you think I can take Joel the compliment Olsteen, that people no. here have worked here for me for so hard for so long. That's what I was bitching at Toast and everybody else for fucking talking about the commercials we got coming up. No, no hair remover. Go buy one, goddammit. You know why? <laughs> because I want to hey, I want to pay Ian, who's one of the hardest fucking working guys I've ever seen in my life, who's been working on this show from the garage to here Agreed. since day one, and he hasn't made a fucking dime from this fucking show. That kills me every fucking day. Mm-hmm. I don't think about my fucking paycheck. I think about what fucking Ian's not fucking making. I'm not thinking about how much you're fucking paying for four ninety five for a VIP to support this show. Because I know it's not going to fucking Ian. Yeah. So if I got to fucking sell something to no-no or reputation or man grade or score big so I can fucking start getting building a nest egg so I can fucking take him on as an employee, I'm going to fucking do that. If you want this show to keep going, you're going to fucking keep supporting it and telling fucking people about it. But it's not about me. It's not about my fucking ego. I want people to fucking be able to put fucking food in their fucking refrigerators and pay their fucking rent because of the toad, not me. But I'm glad I could facilitate that. But you, because I'm you trying know, to fucking survive my fucking self but too. But you know that you are. But to say people are here just to fucking suck my dick is an insult. No, I said drink your jizz. Well, uh, it, that's what you got to do before. Well, I understand. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just. I, I don't. I didn't mean it as a slam. I meant it as. I took it as, as a slam. I didn't think that. I don't think he's really gonna j- t- you, drink you, your jism. You were, I was making a joke, and it was. A, it was a, going. Oh, we, we can, like looking around. Like everybody in the room knows what's going on, but me. And these people are here just to fucking. There are people who are be who my are, little puppets, as opposed to actually wanting to fucking make this thing succeed well, I didn't say and puppet. work for me. I said there are people who are enamored with you. I don't think that that's necessarily a bad thing. I'm enamored with I certain people. It, if you it were, doesn't mean if you that had a personal assistant, you trusted somebody with your house or your passwords, or whatever. Do sure. you want them? Do you want them to be enamored with you, or do you want them to work for you? I don't. I, I don't. Well, I don't want them to be enamored. There with you me. go. Sure, that's, no. what, that's what I'm saying is an insult to me because I don't want them to be enamored with me. I want them to do a good job because they are good people and they do good work, and, right. and I trust them. Yeah. When people are enamored with you, it's like it's fucking single white female shit. That's what you said. They want to be you, and I was like, wait a second. That's not a fucking healthy, a healthy thing that I got you going can on. Look- and if people are, and if you can look around the room and point at four people and go, "All right, who, who, who?" Like everybody knows this, but me. Then that fucking is an insult to me. That this fucking thing is just a big single white female club, and this is not going to grow anywhere. Never, it's not going to fucking go any place. Had, then why the fuck am I sacrificing 15 fucking hours a day? You never had a, a boss or a guy who you worked for, and you were like, "I'd follow that guy into the fire." I, 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 I. Respect him so much. Okay, so I use the word enamor. Respect, or you're like that's I, different. No, it's not. I don't want to be thing. him. I want to be by him. I want to support him. I want him to teach me. I want him to. Uh, so one day, you know that yeah, we are Remember equals go- as opposed to uh, he's my mentor. Remember going to KBC.